Hezbollah hit the U.S. facility, citizen of America was injured. As a result of the Hezbollah organization's rocket attack from Lebanon, it was reported that a U.S. citizen representing an unmanned aerial vehicle company doing business with Israel was injured. CBS News reported this with reference to U.S. officials. Hezbollah fired dozens of projectiles and anti-tank missiles toward northern Israel on Sunday, according to the Israeli military. It is said the soldier had been lightly injured and evacuated to receive treatment. According to the information, an American civilian was injured as a result of the recent increase in rocket attacks by Hezbollah. The U.S. State Department confirmed the information. The agency's spokesperson said that the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem is helping the injured man and his family and urged American citizens to be careful in Israel and the West Bank. The condition of an American citizen injured after the Hezbollah fired missiles toward northern Israel is worsening, according to the medical center treating him. The 31-year-old man suffered shrapnel injuries to his upper body and was admitted to the operating room from Sunday evening local time, the Galilee Medical Center said in a statement. Two other people injured by the missile fire, a soldier and a civilian, have also been hospitalized in a surgical department, the center added. Tensions have increased in recent weeks on the border between Israel and Lebanon, the so-called Blue Line. Since the 8th of October 2023, daily exchanges of fire between Lebanon's Hezbollah and Israel have highlighted the ease with which Israel's war on Gaza has expanded into other parts of the Middle East. Hezbollah, an ally of Hamas, has been putting pressure on Israel by forcing the country's military to divert resources from Gaza to counter the Lebanese group on its northern front. This has highlighted the tightening unity of the so-called axis of resistance led by the Islamic Republic of Iran. Turkey launched its first domestically made satellite, Turksat 6A, into orbit on Tuesday. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carried the satellite into orbit from Space Center in Florida, the United States. Our indigenous, national communications satellite 6A will ensure the backup of existing satellites and increase capacity, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said while addressing the launching ceremony via video link. With the launching of its first homemade satellite into orbit, Turkey entered a new phase in satellite production. Turkish Transport and Infrastructure Minister Abdulkader Yuraloglu said the first signal from Turksat 6A was received 67 minutes after its launch, as planned, according to a Reuters report. We will have brought our own communications, our television broadcasts to a safer, better level, he said adding that Turksat 6A would now allow Turkey to also reach India, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. The minister noted that Turksat 6A was the result of a 10-year effort to domestically produce a satellite, adding it meant Turkey became one of 11 countries to have done so. Turksat 6A, operated by Turksat A.S is equipped with 16 Kuban transponders, as well as four held in reserve. In addition, it has two active X-band transponders and one spare. Those three are reserved for domestic Turkish military use while the Kuban transponders will support commercial services. Ignition and Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition and liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket launching the Turksat 6A satellite. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Confirmed. And there you heard and saw on your screen successful deployment of the Turksat 6A payload.